Hi, my name is Matt Jusky, and I go to Lincoln Way North High School in Frankfort, Illinois. And I am visually impaired and play on the Varsity Boys golf team for the school and do also some other community service work. Well, my dad has always been an avid golfer, and um, it just seemed to rub off on me. I've been swinging ever since I was three years old and um, always just loved the game. I played in multiple uh, junior tournaments before high school, and then um, once eighth grade season came around, or eighth grade summer, I mean, um, I, w I just told my dad, I was like, I want to make the, the, the golf team in high school. And I talked to a pro, you know, a PGA professional before that, and he was like, you know, it takes thousands of golf balls. And he wasn't kidding. I mean, this entire, um, that entire summer, I took maybe five days off. All the other times I was out there just practicing, practicing, practicing. And then um, time it came around, the coaches provided me with a spotter. They, they let me have a spotter for tryouts. And then um, IHSA then... Uh, within 48 hours gave permission for a spotter and which was in enough time for the first tournament and then after that I just ran with it practiced more took some lessons and then um, by time the next year I made the varsity team as a sophomore and all thanks to being able to have a spotter um I just tried to share my experience what I just said you know how how it kind of all happened and um, just how appreciative I am of the IHSA for giving me the ability to play and compete and feel like a normal athlete out there and have it to where at least I can have a level playing ground, you know, where it, it, no one has a, uh, an advantage besides a better swing than me or something like that or you know more consistency but at least I know what's out there and you know and just trying to share that with them. Um, I try to view myself as the as the normal teenager you know what you see on TV you know I like to hang out with friends I like to hang out with you know family members and enjoy movies and enjoy my extracurricular activities such as golf and such as that so I, I like to view myself as a normal teenager and I want others with disabilities to realize that just because you have a disability doesn't mean that you can't do something I mean unless it's something outrageous where you can't do it anything you set your mind to you can do so that's what I really hope other kids and anyone with a disability can take and feel that they can achieve their goals. Well, I know from my experience, I think if they have provided enough, they obviously have provided enough um, help getting on the team because practically no team in a high school is just a walk-on and you're, you're guaranteed. I mean, you got to be able to perform so that means they've already helped and assisted enough. I believe it's all on the student athlete to get to where they want. If they want to play state, then work hard. You know, I mean, it, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work for <clears throat> someone with a able, complete able body, let alone if you have a disability, it gets even a little harder. So I'd say you, if you just keep working, you know, and keep your head up, you know, you can get there, but the IHSA can't really do anything. If I go out and shoot a 95, I shouldn't be able to play in state just because I have a disability. There's plenty of other kids out there that would do the same thing. They just can't shoot well enough to make state. So by having a disability should not give you a free ride into a state competition or a national competition or anything. Um, I'd say all of the above because I don't want to be, let's use a real world experience or not a real world experience, but a scenario. I don't want uh, an employer to give me a job just because they feel bad for me. I want to be qualified for the job and know that this is where I'm supposed to be, not just 
handed it. And also as an athlete, I want to earn my way into wherever I make it, such as the freshman team, I earned my way into there. And it just feels so much better. So I would be saying that as both just a person with a disability and a student athlete. Yes, I also tried wrestling and, uh, in uh, freshman year. Um, well, I was catching on. That was the first time I've ever done anything like that. And the coaches were as accommodating as they needed to be. I didn't have any special IHSA ruling for there because it's, it's just all right there. I mean, um, but I eventually, I injured my back slightly a um, little bit through the season. And I was like, you know, I can't, I can't risk doing this and hurting my golf game because of an injury from wrestling. So I decided to stop that, but I still believe I could do it. I just, uh, I don't want to take that risk. Well, they, I know they have, I'm not too sure on exactly what it is. I know it's something like a, I think they call it beep golf. It's for blind and visually impaired to make it easier to hit the ball due to the sound. Um, I don't know of any, I didn't know there's no one at North that um, plays it, but I know like through the Chicago Lighthouse, they, um, they do a lot of visually impaired uh, sports, such as kayaking and um, you beat baseball and stuff like that. So that's, that's about all the sports I know for visually impairment. It's definitely got to be your passion. I know that for sure. Golf is for sure my passion. I mean, I'm out there if it's 35 degrees out and you know, I'm in a short sleeve shirt because it's like, you know, I want to be out here. Um, but sometimes it is very hard. You have some kind of disability where you physically cannot participate. So an outlet such as the Special Olympics or something like that may be very beneficial to those students that can't do the, do the able body sports. Um, and something that could possibly be organized. I know it in the Lincoln Way system they have uh, the Special Olympics and it's a huge parade and everything for the students with disabilities and um, I really you can see in their faces that this is this is their time of the year where it's like this is what makes them not mind school it's a huge event for them and I think that's a great event because it's nice to see them you know happy like that um, but yeah I mean it, it could be IHSA um, something like that along those lines. I worked so hard the eighth grade summer to make a freshman team and you know we were so excited and then ended up making varsity the sophomore year but both times at at conference I went out and it was not too pretty. Um, so I didn't move on. I didn't play uh, regionals whereas some other uh, sophomores that made varsity, they did go and play regionals. And I wasn't happy because of the way I played, but I I didn't earn that spot. So um, that's pretty much what I feel this next year. If I am good enough to make it downstate due to my scores, then so be it. I'm practicing and working hard at it. If not, well, then improve, you know, work harder. Um, just besides, I, I just hope the IHSA keeps doing what they're doing and, uh, you know, trying to provide as much assistance with anyone that is going for their, their dreams and, um, just needs a little help in the high school level. That's about it. But so far, I think they're doing great.